Today we are back in our Minecraft survival world where we're going to be building an epic log cutters cabin. Now this is going to be a pretty big build, it's not going to be a small cabin, it's going to be sitting on the top of our mountain and should really start expanding the village. We're also going to take some time to do a bit of resource gathering and build a few automatic farms. Just some basic ones to get us going and gathering a few resources and also to help us make those trades with those villagers. So with that being said, let's get started. One great thing about living in the mountains is that you always get stocked up on a ton of snowballs. Look at this. We've got loads. See if we can hit that horse. No, not close enough. My target is not that great. Can we hit him from there? Still missed. There we go. I have that. So first things first, I've got to gather up a couple of resources. So I want to get some things that we can use to make some automatic farms. So I want to get some beehives. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to find very many. I haven't seen many around, but hopefully we can find a few just to get us started. I also want to get some cactus so that we can make a cactus farm, which will convert into a bone mill. So we can make a bone mill farm because you guys know I use a ton of that. And then one other thing I would like to do is get some melons and pumpkins. So hopefully we can find a jungle too. Okay, look at that. Already straight away, we've got our first bees nest, which didn't take me too long to find. We've got about two or three at base, so hopefully we can find a few more. Okay, now beehive number four. Let's go ahead and just gather up this oak while we're here. That'll make things a little bit easier. And there we go. We can gather up that and let's just get rid of those. There we go. That makes beehive number four. Okay, took a little bit longer to find this one, but beehive at number five is just here. Look at that. Perfect. There we go. Okay, things are coming along nicely. Come on, little guy. That's it. Perfect. There we go. So we got one bee, that's for sure. Can we get this guy in here? I'll have to double check, so I'm not sure if we've got any other bees. There we go. In our other nests. So fingers crossed that we have. This has got to be part of the wild update, surely. Looks a bit like Pride Rock from The Lion King. I'm sure you guys recognize it. I doubt we'll be getting any lions anytime soon in 1.19 low. Okay, time to go swimming. Let's get ourselves a bit of kelp because we're going to need some of this to make another farm at some point. I'm not sure if we get to this one today, but I definitely have plans to do it in the future so that we can get a better fuel source. Okay, we're still looking for a desert. I have traveled god knows how far so far and like hood is once i find a desert i'm gonna realize that there's one right on top of my base somewhere but always the way you'll ever travel but let's keep looking okay some mobs in daylight let's get rid of you and creeper i hate you guys but i love your gunpowder so it's kind of a love hate relationship there we go let's see what else we can find Okay, another beehive. That's got to be about number eight now, I think. We've got quite a few, so that should be plenty to do a bit of farming with. <laughs> oh my god, are these guys are real. The water's right there, but they refuse to jump off the platform and save themselves. You know, I guess it's right. I guess uh, zombies really don't have any brains at all. Okay, let's see if we can get a few more bees. So at the moment, these guys are sniffing some flowers. Looks like this one's gathered a bit of nectar. So we should be able to place this one down here. And hopefully, hopefully we get him back in there. Come on. Okay, no, the other one is. Okay, well, that's one bee. But let's see if we can get this other guy over here as well. Because the more bees we can get, the better, I guess. Let's place that there. Where is he? He's around here somewhere. Aha, there he is and there we go another one to the collection i think we've got about five bees now somewhere around that at least okay another one my gosh these things are starting to pop up too quickly now they're all over the place oh melons we definitely want to gather up a few of these i might already have a couple in our base but certainly not many um but i do want to set up an automatic farm because these are great for trading to get emeralds with our villagers so this should be perfect Finally, we found a desert. I have gone literally thousands of blogs for these. So we're going to take loads of these home with us. Uh, we're definitely going to need plenty of cactus because I want some bone meal. Okay, just a few more should do it. Let's just finish up gathering these ones. And I think that'd be plenty. I don't think we're going to need much more than that. So I think it's time we head back to base and get building. 
So the first thing I wanted to do back at base was to just finish up some of the areas a little bit because there's a few empty spots. So I just wanted to add in a few trees and bushes, flowers and stuff just to make the area feel a little bit more complete because sometimes it's just those little empty patches that need to be filled to really add so much life to a build. I also done this around the starter house, but this area was mostly complete. So really the main thing I've done here was just add in another tree. Now these spruce trees here fit perfectly into the mountains and really add a lot of life to our build. We also added a couple of little trees down on this little edge here along with some flowers and that pretty much finished most of the empty spots sort of between our buildings. Moving over to this side of the mountain I wanted to clear some of the area for our log cast cabin. The log cast cabin is going to be pretty big and it's going to kind of sink into the mountain so I wanted to make sure that I had plenty of space to work with. Now it did take me a while to clear the area because I could only get efficiency 2 enchantment on our shovel but we got there in the end. Once I was done I decided to prepare a bit of the mountain edge here so I've done a little bit of terraforming to give us a bit more of a smoother slope. My vision for this side of the mountain is to have a bit of a smooth slope coming down and we'll have some trees and some chopped down trees kind of sitting around it. Because this is going to be right next to our woodcutter's cabin, I figured this would be his kind of work area. So I wanted to make a few trees and some chopped down trees to kind of blend in with the environment and make it feel a bit more like it was being used rather than opposed to just being a bit decorative. Now it took me a while to blend it all out but I just got it basically done. I didn't do nothing too over the top. I kind of really just kind of shifted everything back a little bit just to give us a bit more room. And overall I think it turned out pretty great. Okay we're finally back and there we go. We've got quite a big space to work here. So I'm going to make sure that the log cabin fits right into that gap. And over here you can see we've got a nice smooth area for our hill. This is all going to be dirtied up and textured and whatnot. But overall I think this is going to be perfect for our log cabin. But first we're going to have to do a bit of work because I've got a bunch of resources that I'm going to need to gather. So mainly the first thing I want to get is some rooted dirt because we're going to have our log cutters cabin up here. I don't want it all to be just cool dirt and grass. I wanted to mix in a few other textures and rooted dirt is great. So it's just going to take a while to maybe find an azalea tree somewhere because I think that a load of rooted dirt spawns below it. Okay, it's dinner time. Time for some mutton and bacon. Yummy. Okay, right. Let's see where we are because I've got no idea. Can we spot any azalea trees from the top of this? Hmm, nothing in sight at the moment. So looks like we're probably going to have to do a bit of traveling. But yeah, I can't see any azalea trees. I don't really know where they spawn. Aha, there we go. We found one. Let's see if we can get across here. There we go and jump down without hurting ourselves. So hopefully we should have a bunch of rooted dirt. No, no, we're not going to go that way. We're going to get a bunch of rooted dirt hopefully below it. I don't know how much. We may have to find a few of these. But let's see how much we get. Okay, well, there's a lot more than I actually expected. So we're going to see how deep this goes. I don't think it's going to go that deep. But it should give us plenty to get on with for now. Okay, this goes down way further than I was expecting. My gosh, we're quite a few levels down now. And it's still going further. My gosh, but we do have a lot of stone. Wow, this just keeps going down and down. My gosh, this is loads. Well, don't think we can carry anymore. Okay, back at base, and that's mainly all I wanted to gather up. So let's just quickly grab something to eat and then put our goods away. And then I guess we can get started with the actual log cuts cabin. So I guess it's back to work. So one thing I like to do when I'm doing builds like this is to look up real life buildings and ideas. So for this build here, I went ahead and I searched up some mountain cabins on Google and I noticed that quite a lot of these mountain cabins had a light bottom and a very dark top. So I decided to try and kind of put my own idea of that into the game with this one. Now for this, as you can see, we've got the dark oak framing and the light bottom here is smooth quartz, mushroom stem and bone blocks. Lucky enough, bone blocks we can now gather from the nether because that would have taken me forever. 
And I had Silk Touch on my pickaxe so that we could get some of the mushroom stems from the Dark Oak Forest. Now, as you can see, as we're building up here, we're going for a much darker color at the top. But the two colors really work well together. For the roof here, I decided to keep the same thing. So we're still using the Cobble Deep Slate. But overall, I gotta say, I absolutely love the way this building has turned out. The little area underneath the right side of the build is going to be the work area where we're going to store some of the logs and stuff like that and all the area where the woods are going to be cut. Now overall I gotta say I think this is actually one of my favorite builds and I'm really glad with the way that it's turned out. But one of the things I want to concentrate on now was really making this blend in with the environment and make it really feel like a log cutter's cabin. So for this, it is all about the detail work. Now you guys know me, I like to add lots of little details, simple, but lots of them. This area is pretty well sort of packed with a lot of stuff. So we've got a lot of cut logs that are strapped down to the ground. We've got our fencing and our flowers to make the area look a little bit nice. And then over on the right hand side is where we're going to have the area where all of the wood would have been cut from. So like the trees and the stumps and stuff like that. So that's all going to go up on this mountain. As you can see, I'm going to place quite a few of them around and then just texture all of the ground up to make it look like it's been worked on. If people have been walking around here, it wouldn't be all grass. You'd have bits of dirt and mud and stuff all over the place. So I wanted to make it look like it had been used. There's quite a lot of stumps here, but I am going to build quite a few trees. But trees do take quite a lot of time. So when I build these, you're going to see them built pretty quick. But believe me, these took me so long to get them all in place. But we got there in the end. Now, once it was all in place, you can see the trees really start to add a bit of life. You know, we've only got a couple there at the moment, but they really bring this part of the mountain all together. So overall, I didn't want to pack this area with trees because I didn't want it to feel like it was a forest. I just wanted it to feel like there was a few trees that have been grown and chopped down. Overall, the town isn't massive at the moment, so there wouldn't be tons of trees up here anyway. We may extend into a forest at some point, but for now, I think I'm pretty happy with just having a few custom trees on the mountain edge that really kind of bring it together. Now, as you can see, it's pretty much finished. Now we have all of those trees in place and I think it looks really good. Like I always say, it's always the small details you want to concentrate on, you know, lots of small details. Yeah, custom trees are not a small detail, but all of those other small details in between are what really bring the build together. Okay, and take a look at that, guys. I think this is really starting to shape up. And that house there, oh, I love the look of it. It just looks so cool. Yeah, this is really starting to come together. I love the look of it. I love the shape of it all. And I love the way it kind of, it, feel, it feels kind of very smooth and sort of like it was meant to be. You know, it blends in as the cliffs come down really nicely. Now, I do want to get some more builds in. I want to get another build like kind of on this slope here, but kind of back towards the wall. I want to get another big build over here, maybe a sort of slope coming down. So maybe a fishing cabin over here, a pathway coming down here with a little bridge. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to have enough room to put anything in there, but we could maybe just add some details and stuff like that. Over here, maybe a town hall, because I know a lot of people keep asking me, what is this dirt hut? This is just where I'm holding my villagers. I've got about four villagers in there at the moment, so I'm just holding them in there. What we could do is build a town hall somewhere around here, and maybe we could add in a villager breeder and a trading system so that we can put them in and get more trades going and stuff like that. I think that would be pretty cool. But yeah, overall, I really love this area, and I've got a lot of plans to build all the way around this uh, this lake that we've made. All the way around the outskirts, we can add lots of little cabins and houses for all sorts of things. And I think it's going to be really good. Maybe even we could bridge over, make a nice big bridge going from one side to the other. But yeah, I think I've got so many cool ideas. But I'd love to know what you guys think we should build next and where should we build it? Down by the river, up in the mountains. You know, have you guys got some ideas for something we could build up here? Um, but yeah, I think it's looking really cool. I do want to build a castle at some point as well. I know a lot of people keep mentioning to me about a castle. I do want to build a castle. And I think I'm going to build one on one of these mountains. I don't know which one. It could be this one, maybe this one, maybe even this one. This one's a pretty big mountain as well. But yeah, I definitely want to build a castle around it somewhere. Don't think up here on this bit of the mountain. I'm not too sure 
if it would work because there's not much of an area for building here because it kind of slopes up pretty steep and we haven't got much area on the other side so i'm not sure if we could get a castle up there but we could definitely get one on one of these other mountains uh, which i think is going to be pretty cool now with that being said i've got a couple of other things i want to get done today so let's get over to our story system I've actually been doing a little bit of work on the storage system here. So as you can see, I've actually cleared this piece of the seed in here because it was feeling a little bit too green. There was too many leaves all over the place. It's feeling a bit too much. So I just cleared the center piece and I think this looks much better, much more tidier. And yeah, overall, I think it looks much better. In here, I've gone ahead and pretty much replicated a very similar kind of design. I've used the same style. We've got four sections coming down here and then three sections across here. Obviously, only two sections here because we've got our doorway. But overall, I think this is looking pretty good. All I've got to do now is get some item frames so that we can start labeling some stuff and bring all of our goods down from upstairs because right now we don't really have anything down here or any organization of any sort. So we're going to have to do that at some point. Now, I am going to replicate what we've built on the other side in here at some point. But just temporarily for the moment, I want to add in a couple of mini farms here just so that we can get a few things. One is going to be a cooked chicken farm so that we can get some food. And the other is going to be a cactus farm that is going to convert into a composter and into bone meal so that we get plenty of bone meal. Because you guys know me, I use lots of bone meal. So first of all, I just got to gather up a few resources so that we can build this and get things put together. Okay, I think I found a spot for our chicken farm. So this should hopefully fit in nice and comfortably here. So let's go ahead and place two of our um, dispensers just here. We're going to go ahead behind the back here, place two hoppers. And we're going to place a comparator and then an observer just on top. And then for now, we're going to go ahead and surround all of this like so. Let's go ahead and put in a stack of blocks there. And we're going to actually have to put in a stack of blocks just here. We'll place one here. And then we can place a couple up here. And for now, I think we'll put one on there. Because the chickens are going to actually go in here. So let's just jump down here for a minute. So temporarily, we can make a little stairway up for getting in our chickens. Now, I think that we just got to put in a comparator facing that way. Then we can break this block and we can go ahead and do that. And that should be everything pretty much all working. Let's go ahead, put in a slab just there. And then in top dispenser, we're putting our lava bucket. Oh, and one extra thing I'm going to just do is put some carpet in here so that the chickens don't get stuck down in the bottom of the hoppers. Just makes things a little bit better. Okay, let's see if we can get some chickens. Okay, we got one. Oh, we got two. Okay, that's two. If we've got any more around here, that would be great. But if not, two is all we need. We can breed them up. Okay, we got six chickens. This should be plenty. Come on, boys. Come on. That's it, guys. We got a new home for you. Come and check it out. Okay, we've got our glass in place. This should all be working now. We've just got to get these guys breeded up so that we have... I think it's about... 48 because you can get 24 on each hopper so because of the one block entity entity cramming so this should be good okay i think the farm is working for now all i gotta do is keep coming in here and then go ahead and breed these guys up when i can to uh hopefully get some more chickens in here if i find some eggs then i can go ahead and throw some eggs in there as well hopefully they will hatch into some chickens in there but overall the farm should be working for now so we're just gonna leave this for now let it run for a little bit and uh, hopefully we'll start getting some cooked chicken in there very soon. Okay, so the bone meal farm is going to be pretty simple. As you can see, we've got a chest down here with some hoppers going into it. So we're going to just simply do something like this. We'll go one, two, and one, two, three. Now, this could be probably made with a little bit less hoppers, but I'm happy with this for now. It's only going to be temporary until we get something a bit better, which will be a little bit later on. Let's go ahead and we'll actually go ahead. Let's block this off so that no water runs through. So we'll go ahead. We'll put one across there. Brill, bring a beam all the way over to here like so. On top of this, we're just going to place a row of glass just for the moment. Just so that our water doesn't come flying out. 
Okay, this might be a little bit odd with the way I've got this set up, but that's because we are on an even gap, which makes it a little bit more harder to work with. But nonetheless, it should do the job. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put in some fences. So something like this, which, yes, is a little bit strange because of the gap. But, you know, because of it being a two block in the center, it does make it a little bit more awkward. So, I mean, this will give us a little bit of bone meal for the moment. I'm not in no major rush for bone meal, but it'll do the job. Let's go ahead and place a wall bucket there, one there, and then we can simply just shift it over. So all we need to do now is get our glass and we can bring our glass all the way down. There we go. And then we'll bring it down. And then at the top here, we can just go ahead and break that one in the corner. There we go. Okay, so it's probably not the most efficient farm. We'll have to see how it goes over time. But at least it's up and running and we've got ourselves a little farm for now. It'll give us a bit of bone meal and we can access our chest just down here. So, yeah, I think this is looking pretty good. I mean, it's all good because of it being on an even number, which gives us that two block center, which really kind of muddled me up on it. So I wish I'd done it a little bit different, but we can come back to that and adjust it later on if needs be. But for now, I think I'm happy with this. For the chicken farm, I'm just going to let it run for now and hopefully we'll be able to get some more seeds and then we can breed more of our chickens and get that up to full capacity. By that time, it should be running pretty quickly by then. Um, but for the moment, we haven't got no chicken in there. So we'll just see how this goes and hopefully by next episode, it should be fully up and running. Anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and cut it just there. So as always, thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and I'll catch you in the next one.